Anybody? Yes. So when Biden is flying these people all over the fruited plain in the middle of the night, I didn't hear a peep out of those people, okay? I didn't hear a peep. I haven't heard a peep about all the people that have been told by Biden you can just come in and they're going, they're being abused by the cartels, they're drowning in the Rio Grande. You had 50 that died in some shed in Texas. I heard no outrage about any of that. Uh, I haven't heard outrage about all the fentanyl that's come across the border that's killing Americans in record numbers. I don't hear... I don't hear outrage about the criminal aliens that have gotten through and have then victimized people, not only in Florida, but all throughout the country. I didn't hear any outrage about that. The only thing I hear them getting upset about is you have 50 that end up in Martha's Vineyard. Then they get really upset. And I'm sorry. Those migrants were being treated horribly by Biden. They were hungry, homeless. They had no, no opportunity at all. The state of Florida, it was volunteer, offered transport to sanctuary jurisdictions because it's our view that, one, the border should be secured. And we want to have Biden reinstitute policies like remain in Mexico and making sure that people aren't overwhelming. But short of that, if you believe in open borders, then it's the sanctuary jurisdictions that should have to bear the brunt of the open borders. So that's what we're doing. But what happened was they were, they were provided um, an ability to be in the, the most posh sanctuary jurisdiction maybe in the world. And obviously it's sad that Martha's Vineyard people deported them the next day. They could have absorbed this. They chose not to. But what it shows is if 50 was a burden on one of the richest places in our country, what about all these other communities that have been overrun with hundreds or thousands? It shows you what now these policies are on the front burner People need to be talking about. Biden can't defend his policies of open borders. Uh, it's doing huge damage uh, to our country. It's costing a lot of money. It's costing lives with the drugs that are pouring across. And so the question is, is why are you supporting Biden's policies? Why don't you step up and tell him you're failing and let's do it differently? Because you know what? He inherited a border that wasn't like this. He has created the crisis. But now at least we know nobody can deny that there's a crisis. Everybody now knows, and it was only because you had to have the elite who want to have the cost on everybody else, and they don't want to have to shoulder that. That's the only reason now people are talking about this.